Ladies and gentlemen, it's regularly scheduled. Selectman of the Board of Selectmen. Uh, today is March 13, 2017. It's uh, called Order at 642. Um, this is the day before the humongous snowstorm that's supposed to occur tomorrow. Uh, right now, uh, there's a public announcement. We know that the, uh, the library is closed uh, next door. Um, you want to talk about the town office building, Scott? Yeah, we we have enacted a policy a couple of years ago about kind of tracking the quality of the weather, what's it going to be like, and then the impact uh, from uh, highway superintendent and school closings. So at this point here, it looks like we'll be closing the office tomorrow. And, and there's a couple of and, and and before, and, and I understand that there are people, you know, they're going to have to go to work tomorrow and, and et cetera. But one of the reasons... Um, that we take this action is for the safety of the people that try to use the building. Um, right. We have in the past, again, tried to keep the, as best as possible, keep the, uh, the office stairs and walkways, et cetera, clean, but there's some people that absolutely have to get to the town hall for whatever that reason, it, whatever that reason, um, and they will risk life and limb to get into the building. So what, what it, it's one of the reasons we, we try to, is that we don't want anybody hurt um, coming to the building. So we will cancel tomorrow. Um, I know if the snow storm blows over tonight, Sherry has the authority just to call up our entire um, staff. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> of three uh, <laughs> to come on in to work and share it with you that but uh, right now there's no reason in my opinion to bring somebody in risk having someone get hurt trying to get to the town hall for whatever the reason may be so right now we will be close for tomorrow uh, next up is approval of the minutes of three six seventeen I'll move to accept the minutes. I have a motion made to accept the minutes as presented. Second. And second. Any further discussion? All those, have, all those in favor, please signify by saying, saying aye. 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 I have a 3 0. Mr. Bergeron, you ready for your reading to this evening? I'm ready for my quote, Mr. <laughs> Chair. This is actually from another member of that esteemed group. You know, starting things off in an early time uh, by the name of Thomas Jefferson, who wrote, uh, describing the nature of politics and governing, he wrote, uh, the whole art of government consists of being honest, only aim to do your duty, and all mankind will give you credit where you fail. No longer persevere in sacrificing the rights of one part of an empire to the inordinate desire of another but to deal out to all equal and impartial rights. Thomas Jefferson. Actually, that was part of, a, that was part of a, the formation of correspondence to uh, the court of King George. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Bergeron. Um, <clears throat> Slackman updates. Mr. Uh, Pierce? Uh, we have our... Probably our last personnel committee meeting tomorrow before our budget. Um, just getting our final numbers in on um, what we're looking at, but we're looking at trying to bring up anybody who's below the median around in our peer group up to in that area as a, as a general rule. So we'll have our final numbers after tomorrow so we can get them in for the budget. So, Mr. Bergeron? Uh, Mr. Chair, we have uh, postponed tomorrow's capital planning meeting. A week ago it was my fault for being out of state, and tomorrow is out of uh, tomorrow is out of precaution. Uh, that said, uh, it's either Wednesday morning or, or Thursday morning. We're going to have another uh, police contract negotiation meeting. Those are 7:30 in the morning, and uh, we're getting down to uh, kind of the, the the table of things. What looks like. Uh, schedules, meaning pay grades and steps and those uh, 
those are always the most interesting part of the discussion. I've often thought that having the money discussions up front make for uh, easier closure when you get to the end and it's vernacular or word phrasing of a contract or mm. by leaving the money to the end, it's always, it always seems to me it's the diciest people that tend to tiptoe around it. I will again say the uh, association is, is really good to work with and we've done this before and we'll be fine. Okay. Um, anything else? No. A uh, couple things. One is i like to uh, congratulate all the, uh, the young men and women that participated in the Sunderland Youth League basketball tournament nice. this weekend. It was a 28th consecutive year for the tournament. Uh, they had one of the largest turnouts ever of... It was over, I believe, two, it was over 230 or 240 kids from uh, third grade up through ninth grade were playing basketball. Nice. Um, in my opinion, there was less yelling at the officials. That's good. Maybe, well, maybe just <laughs> I can't hear quite as well. Anymore. <laughs> um, but I, I think, you know, some sometimes. Um, you, you, you think about it. Some this this is sometimes the only may, maybe the only opportunity some of these uh, young men and women have an opportunity to play in that type of uh, tournament environment. Yeah, and, good point. And it and it's and it's a it's a, a a nice experience for for most of them. It's a long weekend for mom and dad members of the PTO and and the uh, basketball. Uh, I mean the baseball. Sunderland Youth, um, but as John Zachary said yesterday, when he looked, or Saturday, as he looked upon the stage, and you saw a mix of third graders, seventh graders, ninth graders, fourth graders, uh, young men, young women sitting on the stage, all communicating, talking with one another. Um, there's something to be said for that that you just can't get at most places. So, uh, for the people that organized uh, the basketball tournament, for all the mm -hmm all the youth that participated, uh, for all the people that came in, uh, now going on 20, 28 years, there are actually people there now uh, watching their children play that played in the tournament. <laughs> so uh, they, they asked, for, asked for hands, and there was three or four one night. I think I was in Whiteley or wherever it was. Because um, it actually, because it was so large, it was played in Deerfield, Sunderland, and Whiteley. I'd like to thank those towns also, also nice. for making their facilities available. Um, another thing is that um, Sherry had sent us out a, uh, another email later this afternoon. I don't know if Scott and David have had an opportunity to, to, to read it, but it was from Sharin, who is our attorney at KP Law, uh, concerning the, uh, the RDI senior housing yeah. agreements. Um, for RDI, this could be up to a $10 million project. Yep. Um, there's zoning issues to discuss. There's um, planning board issues. There's conservation issues. There's issues of, of getting of the necessary funding aligned. Right. Um, so just so everybody knows that today is March 13th, and Sharin has assigned a closing date so that's yeah. the closing date of January 19th, <clears throat> 20, uh, 2019. 19, yeah. So that's still two years away. Yep. So we will give c continual updates. Um, but I think what it says is that it's going to be a long-term process. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's not going to happen quick. Um, probably once the ground is broken... It'll go a lot, it'll a lot be much quicker. Um, but right now, um, the potential closing date is January 15th, 2019. So that's, we got a lot of, there's a lot of work to be done um, by us, the town, uh, Board of Selectmen, conservation, zoning, planning, 
120 North Main Street. Mm -hmm. There'll be some, I'm sure we'll be talking about what it looks like and all that kind of stuff in the future also. That's a great point. So just so everybody knows, this is uh, January 15th. Um, we have a meeting of the uh, South County EMS. It's Thursday night down the Sunderland Firehouse. If anybody would like to uh, attend. We they already have canceled the Frontier budget yep. hearing, which was scheduled for um, last night or t tomorrow night, right. and that'll be postponed until the following the following week. So in case you were ready to go to that meeting, you get another week to rest up. For. <laughs> get informed on. Yeah. Um, so we're 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 making headway. Um, any, uh, anything else? I'll think Sherry, Tom, Mister, updates. Patty did confirm that they would still be ready for the board and the finance committee on Monday night, though the twentieth. So that'll still happen. Good. They'll be here then. Excellent. Um, I attended an OPEB workshop at the FERCOG today. Um, town council was there. Michelle Rendazzo and did a presentation, so that was good. Um, there were some changes with the Municipal Modernization Act, so she uh, reviewed. Re Reviewed those. Um, and they, then, did, they didn't accelerate the buy down, did they? No, <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. Um, and then we have the oil bid um, from for the number two heating oil, and the low bid recommendation for that is Roberts Energy. Hmm. Hmm. If you'd like to make the formal award tonight, or if you want to review that. But that was through the um, Pioneer Valley Collaborative. Well, that's the case, and uh, move to enter into the, it's an annual, right? Yeah. Yeah, move into the annual number two fuel oil agreement with the Roberts Energy as recommended by PV Pioneer, L Lower Pioneer Valley Planning. Good. Second. Yep. Um, Hi. Oh, all in yeah. favor? <laughs> all in favor? It's all right. I, heard I was them. waiting. Okay. Hi. Three zero, Sherry. <clears throat> um, David, you want to read our correspondence from the highway super? I do. I can't imagine why he's doing this, but <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, from George, our, George Emery, our highway superintendent, um, regarding the snow and ice deficit spending request. $16,007.37 of the 16000 appropriation in the FY16 snow and ice wages account has been expended as of last payroll warrant, leaving a deficit balance of $7,007.37. Per Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 44, Section 31D1, 31 I request <clears throat> authorization to spend an additional $8,000 in excess of the available snow and ice wage appropriation. This amount would be used, if necessary, solely to fund wages necessary for this winter's snow removal operations. I will submit any future requests for deficit spending in advance of the de of depleting previously authorized amounts. Thank you. So, getting ready for tomorrow. Well, if I could, Mr. Chair, um, sure. The, the last warrant shows a deficit of seven thousand. Right. The request here is for eight thousand. We know we have a storm tomorrow that leaves a thousand dollars in snow and ice. Is there a reason we wouldn't consider a higher value? Yeah. Um, yeah. He he went up to three from the five. So. Yeah. And I think we may have more on Saturday from what. Right. I, yeah. Is there any reason, Mr. Chair, if I could, uh, we wouldn't entertain? Uh, although the request, I I applaud George's effort for making sure that the board knows at every request. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I really do appreciate that. But we'll be coming back to this knowing we've got one tonight, tomorrow, and then potentially another one on Saturday. And I wonder if it wouldn't be advisable to take this request and make it $11,000 knowing that it won't get spent. Sure. But we won't That's be coming back. That's fine, Scott. Yeah. Okay, so you have a motion to allow additional deficit spending of $11,000. Yep. Again, exactly. snow and ice wages. Materials, he said before, we're all yep. good on. We're set. Yeah. 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 <coughs> I'll second that. Okay, <clears throat> motion made and seconded. Any other discussion? Uh, just that we'd be uh, looking forward to seeing the total for the deficit total aggregate. Hmm. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Three zeros, Jerry. Um, 
Last up is regarding possible police cruiser purchase. Sherry, can you fill us in with that? Um, we're still waiting um, from Maya to hear if the cruiser is going to be totaled or if it's going to be repairable. So I believe at this time Eric is trying to, um, the chief is trying to cover bases by submitting an article um, in case. So we would have a warrant article at the town meeting? So we have enough rolling stock right now to cover the ships required, yeah. essentially. Hmm. I mean, part of it's clearly going to be an insurance claim that kind of muddies yeah, up the works a little sure bit. we're not sure if it's going to be right. totaled or, right. or not. So we're still kind of waiting on insurance information. Well, if that's the case, and regarding possible, I assume the chief is going to come forward with a direct replacement request? We're not going to get a Corvette or... Anything like that? <laughs> oh, uh, Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo. I see those yeah. commercials now. Yeah. I guess. I guess. I, I. I saw the one correspondence about the timeline. It would make sense to ask uh, the chief exactly what what the okay. replacement's going to be. Again, I assume it's going to be in kind. Well, it, the, I think it was uh, attached. I think it was the, the one. The car that was in the accident was the car that was going to be replaced. Replaced so, yeah. anyway. Anyway. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that it's part of the capital plan, regardless. Right. So it's already on the capital plan. So I guess that bump that up to. A little sooner than right. Okay. Um, I would uh, like to uh, maybe on a, a agenda for next week. Uh, a little talk about the overall budget. Mm -hmm. uh, capital. Yep. Go through the run through the capital, and also the cola recommendations. Mm -hmm. So we can finish plugging those yep. numbers in. Yep. Makes perfect sense. Anything else you want on the budget? Uh, no, I think those are the. the, the <clears throat> no, that's going to cover it. That's going to make for a, a full-on discussion already. Yeah. Yeah. We'll need to and know the school, the school too. too. So, yeah. right. So we'll we'll need to know in we'll need to know the impact of the colas across. It's usually not that much. It's it's eight thousand and change for the yeah. based right. on our formula. Got we it. end up coming up with a two percent. We're just like tomorrow we'll be, not tomorrow Wednesday we'll be doing. Um, Trying to figure out that amount to bring people up, you know, it, it, like okay. the the and that section. But yeah, we had we had our colas last the week. Okay, around, so <clears throat> yeah, so those are the last pieces of the budget. We should have a very good picture to begin uh, conveying to the community. Well, it's that time. I Absolutely, mean, it's, it's, we're ready. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I I guess my biggest the biggest concern is. Um, and, and again, my in my opinion, would, is looking at another eight percent increase in the elementary school. Right. So you know, and it'd be good to talk. We we need to talk on the uh, talk about the um, population of the school, mm -hmm. what's being offered, what's not being offered. Um, and, it, and again, it's. It's very important that everything is out in the open so everybody can and can discuss that. Right. Um, and I mean, especially after last year, it was a 10.8 percent increase. Mm -hmm. And that and, and again, those can't those can't continue. No. Um, That's why we wanted to get our personnel numbers in too, because you know we wanted all of that available at, at the same time. So the entire package. Yeah. Yeah. But we also know the school, a large percentage of their budget is is um, labor as mm -hmm. well. So it has to, so we have to be careful when, you know, when, and again, when we have contract negotiations, we have mm -hmm. to be careful mm -hmm. with, and knowing how much a 2% or one and a half percent or zero for that. Sometimes you can have a zero in your budget. Your, your budget still goes, goes up. up. Yep. So, and sometimes we don't discuss that. Typically, we do. I know in frontier conversations we do talk about that. So, um, that's something we have to talk about. Right. Okay. Yep. Anything else? Nope. Anything else, David? No. So, uh, I would, uh, would before we uh, sign off. I would just uh, recommend to people um, the uh, the last um, snow update I got was that the track was coming further west. Snow totals were going up 
originally was supposed to start at 6 in the morning. That's been pushed back to 5 a.m. And the things that we get that, that, I'm, that I get messages from all the time, I don't know how they do it, but they're usually pretty good on their start times. Um, you, you know, usually it's a half hour, mm -hmm. 45 minute. It looks like snow is going to be starting tomorrow. They're, they're predicting snow right now for up to four inches an hour. So right. it's it's not a little storm. It's no, a pretty it's the real deal. It's a pretty heavy storm. And they said so. The accumulations are probably going to go up a little higher than what they originally had thought. There will be wind. Um, we are now have been upgraded to a blizzard, what they call blizzard, blizzard condition, morning. which yep. is a su sustained wind over 35 miles an hour. Um, so we sh you should be if you don't have to go out, don't go out. Yeah. Um, and if you do have to go out, please drive very carefully. Look in on your neighbors. And be well. careful cleaning up. Be careful cleaning up. Very good, David. All right. Motion? Motion. Uh, second the motion to adjourn. I have a motion made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Um, Sherry, please declare us out at 702 tonight. Hey, somebody fixed that clock too. I did, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> They're on a chair. <laughs>